It is the last day of Geekness and I cannot believe it. I am so excited. This is my favorite video to film every single year. It is my year long makeup empties video. All of the makeup that I finished in 2023. I love makeup. I love project panning. It's just a whole lot of fun and I love to get good use out of my makeup. So this is not skincare perfume. This is all full size and a few deluxe size makeup items. I am very excited to share this with you. If you're new, I really hope you'll stick around and subscribe because I'm excited for new content in the new year. Thank you for all of the love on Geekmas. If you didn't see the Geekmas videos, daily videos in December, I'll link the Geekmas playlist and let's get started. In my seven to eight years of project painting, last year was the first time that I did get to $1,000 worth of makeup empties, which was so exciting. This year, I was hoping to reach that again, but I didn't, which is okay. But my total was still $803 worth of makeup, 43 products, almost all of those were full size. I'm going to break this down by category. Let's start with foundations. So I finished 10 foundations. So you'll see at the end of the photo that there are two deluxe sizes. I counted those each as half. So together that was one full foundation. The value was $331. Now all of these foundations were not full at the beginning of the year. Like I'd been using these for the last one to two years. So it's not like they were all full and I used them up. Um, I loved the Yensa ones. Those are amazing. Actually, the deluxe size that I had from the NARS is amazing. And I had a full size last year. I want to repurchase that. Um, some really, really good foundations. I just, I love them. I love foundation. I wear it every single day. So pretty awesome. $331 worth. I'm very excited about that. For concealer, I finished four concealers, all full size for a value of $59. Again, these are all really great. I worked on some really great items this month. I just like to get good use out of my makeup collection and yeah, pretty awesome. Especially cream products, I wanna use those up because they definitely expire faster than powder products. Okay, face primers, I finished five for a value of $116, all full size. The one from First Aid Beauty is really, really nice. The L'Oreal was great. Actually, other than I don't love the e.l.f. Hydro Grip, um, really, really good primers here. Setting Spray, I only finished one and the value is $6. It's the e.l.f. Setting Spray, which is my favorite. And I only use Setting Spray now to foil eyeshadows. I don't use Setting Spray for anything else anymore. I used to prep my face with it or sometimes set my face. And I don't know, I just stopped doing that. I feel like it was an unnecessary step, but I do like it for foiling eyeshadows. Powders, I'm very excited. I finished two face powders for a value of $28. The Beauty Bakery powder is amazing. It was a fantastic loose powder, absolutely beautiful. Works on my under eyes and my whole face, loved it. And then of course, the Wet n Wild Bare Focus, which I have been raving about. It's only like $4 and it's so, so good. So part of me is like, why do I need to buy high-end powder when the Wet n Wild one is so affordable? and so fantastic. So anyway, I'm excited that I finished these though. Mascaras, I finished four of them for a value of $41. The Gift Beauty Mascara was actually really nice. I really enjoyed that. I was very, very impressed. Although now I'm using the Rare Beauty Mascara, which I prefer, although it's pretty similar to the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. So I don't know if I need to repurchase the higher end but L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black has been my holy grail for many, many years, and it's very, very affordable, and it's a great mascara. Okay, brow products. I finished four brow products for a value of $50. The NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Mascara is fantastic. I really, really like it, although now I'm using the e.l.f. Wow Brow, which I think I like better, but clearly I repurchased the NYX one a couple of times, so I like it. I think it's a really, really good product. I love tinted brow mascara. I use that every single day. So anyway, these were good, but right now I'm using the e.l.f. The Essence is also really fantastic, and I have finished many, many of those over the years. Okay, lipstick. I finished one lipstick, which is great. Um, panning lipstick is very, very difficult, especially because I don't reapply lipstick. I might reapply gloss, 
but I'm not really someone who's reapplying lipstick. And so the value was $9. This was the Clarity Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cookie. And I really like it. It's a very nice thin formula, very comfortable. I love brown tones. Like today I'm wearing brown tones. It's like what I wear most days. And this was a good liquid lipstick. I just don't know that I need to repurchase because I have plenty of lipsticks. I wish I could have maybe finished more lipsticks, but hey, one full size liquid lipstick is pretty awesome. Lip liners. I finished two lip liners for a value of $16. And one of them was from NYX and the other one was from Beauty Volte, which is something that I got in BoxyCharm years ago. And I have two others of the Beauty Vault or Beauty Volte lip liners and they're really good. They're very similar to the ColourPop. And this year I was super into lip liner. I wore lip liner pretty much every day. I had several in my 2023 favorites and lip liner was just a favorite this year and I am happy that I used up two because normally I don't finish that many lip liners because I wasn't wearing them all that regularly but this year I did and I loved every second of it I'm super super into lip liner okay another amazing category was lip gloss guys I finished seven full-size lip glosses I can't believe it the value was $85 I finished multiple of the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oils, which I really, really enjoy those. I think they are fantastic. I finished a Fenty Gloss Bomb. Thrilled. I love lip gloss. I will say, like, I kind of could take it or leave it on lipstick nowadays and just stick with lip liner and gloss. That combination is definitely my favorite. But I'm so happy that I used up so many lip glosses because I love lip gloss. And it's something that I want to buy fairly regularly. So, you know, I got to control myself, but I'm glad that I used up a lot. I really, really am. And I took the stopper out of all of these. So I scraped these every single last drop. I didn't mention that for the concealers. I did also remove the stoppers out of the concealers as well. So yeah, I am trying to use up everything to the last drop which is very, very exciting. So yeah, seven lip glosses, $85. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and then I finished three highlighters. The value was $62. And as you can see, these were powder highlighters. So I finished Becca Prosecco Pop full size. Now I've been working on this for over three years. So it's taken me a very long time to use it, but I used up every last drop I also used up um, an Anastasia highlighter from one of the glow kits. That's what that empty pan is. So I valued that at $10 because the glow kits are $40. So I finished one of the pans from a glow kit. And then the other one was the Makeup Forever Loose Highlighter in shade 13. And I used that up by pressing it into a pan, mixing it with other highlighters. And I love highlighter. I really, really do. And something I did a lot this year was making my own highlighter by mixing multiple powder highlighters together, pressing them into a pan. I've got a video on that. Check the description box. I have my repressing video linked down there. And so I loved doing that. I, I like highlighter. I still do. Um, I wear powder highlighter every day, which may not be as like popular or on trend, but I love it. I really do. And so I'm very, very excited, guys. So that is 43 products, $803 worth of makeup. Definitely the top category was a foundation because that was 10 foundations at $331. Concealer for $59, still pretty good there. Lip gloss, amazing. Seven lip glosses. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. Primers was also a very good category because I finished five and the value was $116. So even though I didn't get to $1,000 worth of makeup empties, I'm still very, very happy with my panning progress this year. Please stay tuned because I will be starting new project pans in the new year. And I kind of want to change up on how I do some of the projects. I'm still going to be doing the same year-long projects, the Partners in Cream, the Deck of Panning, and the Powder Project Pan. I have been doing those for several years now, and I really like doing those. So those definitely will be coming back. Stay tuned. Let us know what project pans you're doing. 
And how were your makeup empties for the year? Please, please let us know. Like I said, if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. I'm very happy with this progress. And I'm very excited for a new year of makeup and panning. It's just, it's a whole lot of fun. So that is it for this video. Let us know what you think. Check out the other videos. Lots of videos went up this month. So if you didn't watch the Geekmas playlist, you should watch it if you've got some free time. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a great day.